Hi everyone, Alex from Everyone Health again and today I'm going to be teaching a 15 minute chair based exercise workout to improve our upper body strength. Now you will need some equipment, now the equipment I've got is a towel, uh, some cushions, two tins, so any sort of uh, food tin, uh, or if you want to use bottled water you need, you'll need two bottles. Okay. So if you feel that you need to just uh, pause the video to get that equipment, pause it now and come straight back. If not, we'll get started. So, we'll begin with the warm-up. You're going to shove yourselves forwards to the front third of the chair. Think about your posture. Keep yourself tall, shoulders relaxed, belly buttons tucked in. We're protecting the spine. What we do, keep your toes on the floor. Let the heels work up and down. So, nice and simple just to start with, just to get them feet moving. From there, start to pick the feet up off the ground. So, using these big muscles in the top of your legs. Now what I'm going to do, keep the elbows by your side, start to move the hands. So we're working upper body as well as lower body. From there you can start to increase the range of movement with the arms. So we're kind of starting a bit of a march in the chair. Now we're doing this because this is the warm up, we're increasing the heart rate, we're loosening the joints and the ligaments, warming the muscles, getting them prepped for the main exercise. Start to punch the arms out in front, nice and gentle. Trying to lock the uh, elbow joint, keep the uh, elbow soft. That's it, good. Still maintain good posture. Good, and just relax there. Hands on the laps, gonna roll your shoulders forwards. Roll the shoulders backwards. Leave the shoulders in backwards downwards position, elbows tucked in. Palms face up. You're going to clench the things in, stretch them out. Clench them in, stretch them out. So this is a really good exercise for any arthritis in the hands, good for mobility in the finger joints. From there, palms open, you're going to turn your palms face down. Palms face up, palms face down. So good for mobility in the forearm. Leaving the palms face up, hands open or closed, you're going to rotate the hands. So good mobility for the wrist joints. And then the opposite way. From there, palms face up, elbows stay fixed, you're going to gently move the hands away from each other and come back to the start. Move the hands away, come back to the start. So this is a really good one for mobility in the shoulder, in the upper arm, but for working into the rotator cuff. And do one more. Good, just relax there. Hands by your sides, you're going to lift them up halfway. Swoop them down, but mind the chair, you're going to bring up a little bit higher. Swoop down again, bring up as high as you can, hold it there, and then lower the hands down to halfway, because then you're going to give yourself a big hug. From there, you're going to take a breath in. As you breathe out, turn the shoulders to your left. Come back into the center. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, turn the shoulders to your right. Come back into the center. We do one more each way. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, turn to the left. Come back into the centre, take a breath in. As you breathe out, turn the shoulders to the right. Good, and just relax there. Again, think about posture, keep yourself tall. What we'll do is a bit of mobility for the neck. So what we're going to do is just gently look over to your left shoulder. Slowly come back into the centre, look over the right shoulder. Come back into the centre. Look over for the left shoulder. Come back into the centre and look over to the right shoulder. Come back into the centre. From there, you're going to put one hand on the chin and then you're going to tuck your chin in away from the hand. Move back to the hand. Tuck your chin in away from the hand, move back to the hand. I'll just turn side on so you can see what's going on there. Tuck the chin in, move back. So every time you tuck that chin in, you're going to feel it pull all the way down the back of the neck into the upper back. So if you've got any tension, in the neck and the shoulders, which a lot of us do have. It's a really good one just to release that sort of tension there. Good, all right, give your arms a bit of a bit of a shake and then we shall start. So you will need your towel to start with. Now you can do this with a resistance band if you want, if you do have one. This is why I'm picking these household items because not everyone will have a, or a resistance band. You can hold the towel, sort of shoulder width apart. And what I'm gonna do is squeeze the towel, but then sort of try and pull the hands away from each other, only gently, and then you're gonna bring the towel into the body and squeeze your shoulder blades and come back to the start. 
So this is good for the rotator cuff in the upper arm and shoulder, but also good for the upper back. So pull the hands away, bring the uh, towel into the body, and squeeze, come back in. Good, pull the hands away, towel in and squeeze the shoulder blades together. So really work into that upper back, pull the hands away, bring the towel in, squeeze, and then we'll do one more. Bring the hands away, pull the towel in, squeeze the shoulder blades, come back and just relax there. If you feel if you just need to roll your shoulders, give them a bit of a roll. Okay, we'll do uh, another five. So hold on to the towel, shoulder width apart. You're gonna pull the hands away from each other and then bring the towel in, squeeze the shoulder blades, come back to the start. Move the hands away, pull in, come back to the start. Move the hands away, pull the towel into the body, squeeze the shoulder blades together, come back to the start. Two more. Try and pull the hands away, squeeze in, come back to the start. We'll do one more, pull the hands away, bring the band into the body, squeeze. Good, and just uh, relax there. Next exercise, you can use a ball or you can use some cushions. I'll do the first five with the ball and then I'll do the next five with the cushions. But this is a really good one for strengthening the muscles in the chest, front of the shoulders. You're also going to feel it in the arms as well. So we're going to hold on to the hold on to the ball here. Keep yourself tall. What I'm going to do, take a breath in. Now as you breathe out, you're going to squeeze the ball. And then relax. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, squeeze the ball. And relax. Take a breath in, breathe out, and squeeze, and relax. Notice my elbows are below my shoulders. Take a breath in, breathe out, and squeeze, and relax. And then one more, take a breath in. As you breathe out, squeeze the ball, and relax. Good. And now I'm gonna show you with the cushions. Now if you found it was a bit too much on the on the wrist, squeeze it in. What we'll do with this one, we're going to put our knuckles into the pillows like so, into the cushions. So our wrists are straight, so we're not putting that pressure on the wrists. Take a breath in. Breathe out and push the uh, knuckles together. And relax. Take a breath in. Breathe out and push. So we're always breathing out on the effort. Take a breath in. Breathe out and push. And relax. Two more, breath in. Push the knuckles in, breathe out. And then we'll do one more, just relax there. Breath in. Breathe out, push the knuckles in. Let's give it a good push. And relax, good, excellent. Right, next exercise, really good one for front and arms, biceps, and this is where you're uh, Tins come in handy. Now I've got two uh, two uh, chickpea tins here, so you know what I'm having for tea tonight. So what we're gonna do? Hold on to the tins. Keep yourself up nice and tall. Belly one's tucked in. Shoulders relaxed. Elbows by your sides. You're gonna curl the tins up for three, two, one, and down for five, four, three, two, one. Again, if you've got a resistance band, you can use a resistance band. If you've got a bottle of water, you can use a bottle of water in each hand. Up for three, two, one. Down for five, four, three, two, one. Curl up for three, two, one. And down for five, four, three, two, one. We'll do two more. Up for three, two, one. And down for five, four, three, two, one. One and one more up for three, two, one, and down for five, four, three, two, one. Good, just relax there. So, like I say, if these are too light, you know, use uh, two bottles of water, especially if they're the full like this one. It's a good, uh, good amount of weight there, good amount of resistance, or if you've got a resistance band. Do five again, keep yourself tall, elbows in. What we do, curl up for three, two, one and down for five, four, three, two, one. And again, come up for three, two, one. And down for five, four, three, two, one. Again, up for three, two, one. And down for five, four, three, two, one. And again, up for three, 
two, one, and then down for five, four, three, two, one. Should we do one more? Yeah, go on then, come up for three, two, one, and then down for five, four, three, two, one. Good, excellent. Keep on to the, uh, the tins. So this exercise is a good one for the back of the arms into your triceps. So we've got one tin and one hand. You will need to make yourself shuffle forwards if you're already not towards the front third of the chair. Left hand, you're going to place on your left leg. So this is your support here. You're going to keep yourself tall, belly bones tucked in. Gently lean forward slightly. From here, let your arms dangle and then you lift the elbow up into this position here. So the elbow is tucked in. And then what we're going to do is extend the arm out and then lower the hand back down. But keep the elbow in the same position. So extend out, come back in. So these are tricep kit backs. So this is for your back of your arms into the triceps. Do two more of them. That's it, good. And then one more, kick back. Good, excellent. So you should have felt that in the back of your arms, triceps. Right hand on the right leg as you support, keep yourself tall. Gently lean forwards from the hips. From there, let the left arm dangle and then pull up. So the elbow is in that position here, it's tucked in. You're going to extend, I'll turn this way. So you're going to extend, the hand out, arm straight, and bring back in. Extend the hand out, bring back in. So the elbow is staying in the same position. That's it, we'll do two more, kick back. Arm straight, and we'll do one more, kick back, arm straight, good, and relax there. Excellent, good, so there are four exercises for our upper body using household equipment, and I'm using these household equipments because obviously, especially when we're, we're isolating ourselves and we haven't got access to things like uh, dumbbells or resistance bands, I'm trying to use this, uh, this household items to, to help with your, with your training. We're gonna finish off some stretches. So nice and tall, shoulders relaxed, belly bones tucked in again. We'll just roll the shoulders forwards. You put your hands together and then push them up and out towards the ceiling. Keep the shoulders down and relaxed, but still pushing the hands up. Try not to hold your breath. Everyone does it this exercise. Keep the breathing going. This is a good stretch for the muscles, ligaments around the shoulder blades. In the upper middle back. Okay, from there, low the arms down, roll the shoulders backwards, leaving the backwards downwards position because then you're going to place your hands on the top of the back of your hips. You're going to push the hands gently into the hips and try and squeeze your elbows and shoulder blades together. So, this is your chest stretch. So, you're going to feel this pull from the front of the shoulder, one side all the way across to the other side. Again, don't hold your breath, keep relaxed. Okay, good, relax there. Number one for the shoulders and for the upper arm. Left arm out in front, bring across the body. Right arm in front of the left arm, gently pull. So you're gonna feel this one in the shoulder and the upper arm. Hold that position there, keep the shoulders relaxed. If that's a bit tricky, just put the uh, left hand on the right shoulder and then use the other hand to gently pull. Same stretch, just different way of doing it. Relax, right arm up, bring that across the body, left arm in front of the right arm, gently pull, hold that position there. Again, if you can't quite manage that, just put the right hand on the left shoulder, use that left hand, gently pull that uh, elbow towards. Okay, good, relax there. Just give your, uh, give your arms a bit of a shake, roll the shoulders backwards again. And that's it, folks, good. Well done. So that was a uh, 15 minute chair base exercise workout, working on your upper body strength using some household items. Keep a lookout for more videos that are gonna be sort of put together. Keep a lookout on Facebook and YouTube. Give us a like, subscribe, and uh, more importantly, just uh, look after yourselves and take care.